Hey guys, welcome to my little corner of the internet. I am going to get right into the review and demonstration of the trademark heat waver. Actually, it's the trademark babe waver. <laughs> I found that later on. Um, so I just want to prep my hair. I'm using the Trace and May Curriton Smooth Heat Protectant Spray. Spray it all over the hair uh, before you know before using the iron. Um, I like to use the wet brush, the one that looks like that. My granddaughter Annabella loves this wet brush. She's got beautiful curly hair, um, and it goes through her hair really, really nice and smooth when she's out of the shower. Um, then I'll just take my little InStyler mini dryer, and I will go ahead and, and finish drying my hair. Um, and uh, at that point, uh, I'm going to take my hair and section it off into four sections. Then I'll take my beach waver, no, I'm sorry, my babe waver, um, and that is the on switch that I'm pointing to, and then you have your up and down for your heat. And I have mine set at 390 degrees Fahrenheit. It does go above that. There's one, uh, one button above that, uh, over 400 degrees, but the 390 degrees seems to work best for my hair. And I have thick hair. Um, it is colored and that's that's the uh, the heat setting that I have on but if you have coarser hair thicker hair then you may want to go a little bit uh, warmer if you see heat coming or smoke coming out of the iron it is just steam so no no worries there it's not it's not cooking your hair I've used this device many times and it, it does not cook the hair um, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hair and um, section it off into four different sections and I'll do one section of the four sections at a time. I do start, when I'm doing it myself, uh, I do start in the back and I'll take the first piece and I'll clamp it down for about four seconds, getting as close to the scalp as you can without burning yourself. And then take it down to another four sections. And then what I'm gonna do is take it to the front so uh, you can see it a little bit better for demonstration purposes. Uh, you, you want to take a nice section of hair, but not too much, about that much. Not too much and not, not too little. And then again, you want to take it as close to your scalp as you can. Now, I will mention that the plates themselves on the outside get very, very hot. So whatever you do, don't take your hands and touch the plates themselves on the outside because you will burn yourself. They're really, they get really, really hot. So not only the inside, but the outer part of it will also get very very hot um, so whatever you do don't touch it I found out the hard way um, then you want to come down all the way to the end after clamping it for about four seconds if you want to leave the end a little bit straight it will give you more of a beach wave look um, and then just take each section of hair taking each section and then taking it all the way down to the end so that's the first section I'm going to take the um, see pretty little S curve then we're going to take the next section of the four sections and I'm going to split that in half, take my clip, bring that around, and then start with the next section of hair. And then the final section of hair, and I'm going to speed this camera up so that, um, or speed this video up so that you're able to, so we can get through it quicker. But there's the one side of the hair, and now I'm going to take the other side and take the top section. Um, now I will mention while, while we're watching this, the on and off button on the, uh, the trademark device does not, you can't just click it off. You have to hold it down in order to turn it off. Of course you could just unplug it as well, but it does have a feature that if you do leave it on, there's a safety feature that it will go, you know, go off automatically. But so the on and off button, you definitely need to hold it down for maybe two or three seconds and it will turn off. And the, the heating aspect of it is pretty quick. Uh, it only takes you know a minute or two and you're going to be up to the temperature that you want to be. So there is the bottom section. Now this is the last piece. Now what I will do with the last piece is I will um, put that into maybe two sections. I think it looks nice when it range the face with the curls. So you, you could uh, you know, just do that in, in maybe two sections. And then there's the 
final section and um, that's pretty much it and whatever you do do not brush it when you're done you definitely want to let the curls cool down uh, before even running your fingers through it so there you go so don't no brush it run your fingers through it once it's once it's cooled and this will actually stay in for a couple of days I'll get a couple of days out of this so I, I typically wash my hair every day sometimes every other day um, and then when I, I get these flyaways the top of my hair I got this little trick from a hairdresser I use my Nexus finishing spray spray it on my hand rub them together and then just kind of like smooths down any flyaways uh, you don't need any kind of wax stick or anything like that. That usually works really good for me. So I am going to put on the link below uh, all the products and everything that I've used. Um, so you, if you like the, the products that I use, that you can get them. I'll do the, uh, the links to the Amazon uh, shop below. So that's it. And that is how I went from this uh, to the S-curl. And there you go. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next go-around. Have a great day. Bye.